Hey, good morning, Raptors. Today, we have never done math playing lacrosse. Now, truthfully, I have never played lacrosse, but we're going to give it a shot. But first, we have to have a joke from All Mr. All this Long. extra free time, I've had a chance to do crunches twice a day. In the morning, I do captain. In the afternoon, Nestle. <laughs> Again, we're going to try to score on our goalie here. Now, he just came off surgery, so we don't know how good he is. But I certainly aren't they very good. But here's the secret. Just as Dustin doesn't know, I slept at a Holiday Inn last night. So we'll see how this goes. All right, Justin, you ready? Sure. All right, I'm going to cheat. I'm going to jag. I'm going to fire. Whoa, thank you, thank you. Okay, <laughs> let's do that again. All right. All right, are you ready, Mr. Lyon? Ready. All right. Jigging, jagging, jigging. Spin around. Oh, I had to go. <laughs> okay, I'm 0 for 2. I haven't come close to the net, but I'm feeling better about this one. All right, Justin. I know. Oh, I almost hit it. <laughs> New idea. Break. Let's take the goal away. Can you play it? Oh, of course. I got you, sir. All right, guys. We've changed the dynamic a little bit. I'm having a little trouble getting to the goal here, but so now, Brian, if you can scan that way and see what goal I'm shooting. Yeah, we're using a big one. A little better. Yeah. All right, here we go. Ah, oh, it's scored first time. Right, here we go. We got to do it again. I got another ball, Justin. You got lucky. All right, ready. One more. Far. Boom. <laughs> now we hit the goal. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Brandon, Jason, Justin, I'm so sorry I didn't call you Tyler. Ah, sorry. Anyway, guys, peace out. All right, guys, back from the lacrosse. Obviously, sleep, living at a holiday, and did not help me, but it was fun being out there. Hey, uh, so these are problems from uh, Worksheet 7-3 that I, I signed for Tuesday, and I think it's due today, Thursday the 26th. And uh, so these are just some problems here. just want to remind you. Um, like problem number nine at the top had the wrong answer that uh, people pointed out to me, which I appreciate. But you guys, this is that split rule. When you see something like this, you just split it into two problems, the one log of 100,000 divided by the log of 100. And you don't reduce anything down. You let the calculator do, and uh, X, this will end up being 2.5. And I know the answer was wrong on the, uh, um, on the sheet. Um, middle section. Um, just to remember how we do the bump up rule. You look at this problem, you say, well, how am I gonna solve this? Well, you rewrite it from log form to an exponential. You take this and you bump it up. You go x to the third equals 1,000, and then you take, from there, you take the cube root of both sides, cube root, x equals 10. All right, again, but it doesn't solve unless you take this x and bump it up. A lot of questions on 21, and I think 21 had the wrong answer as well. Um, this one right here, you look at it, so all right, what am I going to do? Well, this is the reminder of going back to what we did, uh, I don't know, two weeks ago. If you change 64, it goes down to 4 times 4 times 4. So we rewrite this as 4 to the third, and then with x minus 3, like that. Bases are the same, drop them off. x equals 3x minus 9, and x equals 9 over 2. And again, that was the wrong answer. And then uh, one more where people had questions, and this again goes back to the lesson we played softball. And I was saying how we solve for exponents is how we use logs. And to solve this out, you log both sides. Log 8 to the x power equals log 500. Magically, this x slides to the front, so you're allowed to divide both sides by log of 8. And x ends up equaling, somewhere I had this, and I can't find my answer. But it's like almost uh, 2.99, I think it was. So anyway, that would be covering that stuff that was due this week. So thank you. Yep. All right, guys. So now new lesson here. And what I first want to do is review these rules, and then you'll see how the rules apply to today's worksheet. So like this first one here, log 25 base 10, we do a split rule. Log 25 divided by log of 10. And that e equals roughly around, roughly around 1.4. When we talked about addition of logs, it's adding of exponents that comes from a multiply. So this means the log of A times B. 
minus means when we subtract exponents, we subtract them from a dividing problem. So this would equal log A divided by B. Doesn't look like the two split logs, it only writes log one time. And then the power rule is just power that up, log A to power P. Cool, stop that. Okay. All right. Hey, so we're going to do these examples here. These examples, I promise you, will help you with today's homework. Alrighty, so like when you look at this problem right here, this has got to move. We got to power that up. We're going to take that and power it up to 3 over 2, cross it off. Now we have log stuff equals log stuff. We cancel out the logs. We get x equals 9 to the 3 over 2 power. Put it in your calculator. Whamma, lamma, jamma, bamma, you got it. Make sure you put that in parentheses. 85, we got 3 here and we got plus. And so what we're going to do is first power this up. Plus means to multiply. So we're going to go log of x to the third times 5 equals the log of 320. We drop now the logs, doink, doink. We get 5x cubed equals 320. We divide by 5, and we get x cubed equals 64 cubed, cubed, and x equals 4. Bam. This one right here, we got minus. Minus tells us to divide. So we're going to go log of x squared minus 9, which I know we're going to factor x plus 3, x minus 3. Minus means to divide, so we're going to divide by x plus 3 equals the log of 1. All right, and then uh, we cancel out the logs. We now can reduce this down, and all you're left with is x minus 3 equals 1, x equals 4. Bam! It's just understanding that subtract tells you to, to, to do it as a divide problem. And then finally, 100. We got a plus again, so we know we're going to multiply. We don't have any bases here, and we don't have a log on this problem. So if it's not a log on this one, we need these bases. If it's not written, then you always put it as a 10. All right, logs are based on 10. So now we're going to put this together, x plus 5 times x minus 4, base 10 equals 1. We're going to change it to an exponent. We bump it up, 10 to the first power equals this multiplied together, which is x squared plus x minus 20. We now subtract 10, and I'm going fast because we, we can only videotape for so long before it's hard to share. So now we got it like that. We factor it. Any negative answer gets thrown out. x plus 6, x minus 5, x equals negative 6, x equals 5. Negative 6 can't work in a log problem. When we put it back there, if it's negative, it won't work. It just takes positive answer, and that's how you do it. All right, so from our next worksheet in that packet, worksheet 10-3, this is your guys' assignment. Thank you.